The Persona series has always been a JRPG game at its core. In the history of mankind, 90% of all the JRPGs that ever existed, when we start the game, we get to choose our own name. From the likes of Pokemon to the newest metaphor re Fantasio game, we have the ability to choose our own name to our own liking. So we can name our own character, the protagonist of the game, to whatever we want to. From a really cool and edgy Japanese name like Kirichinko to another absurd name to like Puff Daddy or P Diddy to even your, your own name. It's really up to our own imagination on what the MC of the game should be. So it kind of gives this personal immersion sort of thing in the game, but yeah, you know, kind of. In the case of Persona, we can choose our name to whatever we want course it's a JRPG but they also have their own canon names yes the Persona series protagonists all have their own actual canon names from Atlas itself despite the option of choosing our own name so because of this there are many canon names according to the fans according to Atlas to, you know from the anime manga whatever so I did my work through meticulous and blood dripping hard work and research these are the official canon names for the persona series protagonists except for persona 1 and 2 because those games never actually existed it's 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 just a mandela effect don't worry about it the first persona game which is persona 3 we have this blue haired and edgy looking individual we have different sources from the anime, the manga, even the stage play, and you know, probably every other source available that the protagonist's name is Makoto Yuki or Yuki Makoto. If you watch the anime, the I don't know how many movies was there, his name is Makoto Yuki. They call him Yuki or Makoto and you know, that's that's his name. That's his official canon name. So his official canon name is Makoto Yuki. For the Persona 3 Portable protagonist, the female protagonist, her name is Kotone Shiomi, which was actually the canon name that originated from a Persona 3 stage play, you know, which is kind of interesting. Okay, now we're done with the Persona 3 protagonist official canon names. The male one, Makoto Yuki, and the female one, Kotone Shiomi. So, we're going to move on to the Persona 4 game. As you know, I'm currently trying to beat the game in hard mode, the Persona 4 Golden, you know, game. So if you haven't checked that out, the first video that I uploaded, please do. Now, people might say that the Persona 4 protagonist's name is Yu Narukami, according to the anime. But, you know, he could also be Soji Seta from the manga. And what do I say to those two names? They are... <laughs> completely wrong wrong let me see wrong wrong his name is not Yu Narukami or Soji Seta his name is Hiro it's Hiro his name is Hiro or specifically Hiro protagonist you don't believe me Watch the Persona 4 Golden Intro. Yeah. There, 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 see, 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 see. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Hero, hero, you can't, that's proof. That's proof right there. That's his name. And as you can see, I was completely right. So it is official. Persona 4, he is called Hero Protagonist. No, 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 not Narukami, not Soji, whatever. It's Hero. He is Hero. Hero protagonist. Hero protagonist. Hero. Right, next up, we have the one and only Persona 5. Possibly the game of all time, and probably the best game out of all three, and, you know, might I say, the most popular out of all of them because it's not popular when you don't have 10 different spin-offs of the same game. 
the protagonist of the Persona 5 is actually kind of split into two names. Firstly, we have Ren Amamiya, which I think most of the fandom would agree that it's his name, which is from the anime. And then we have the other name, which is Akira Kurusu, which is from the manga, and a less popular one. Now, those two names might be what people know him as, but it's not his actual name. All right. I've done my research, I've done Twitter dives and playing the game, and uh, that's actually the only thing I did. But to reveal his real name, it's Joker Persona 5. You never see it his real name is Joker Persona 5. I mean, I, I, you guys didn't get it, or you guys didn't play the game at all. All the Phantom Thieves literally call him the Joker, or Joker. And since like all names in existence have a last name, you, it just can't be just Joker, right? So I think it's fair to have his last name, Persona 5. He is the Persona 5. The Persona 5 is him. Therefore, he is the Persona 5. Therefore, he is Joker Persona 5. So, the canon, an official name for the Persona 5 protagonist, is Joker Persona 5. And if you're playing the Royal version, it's Joker Persona 5 Royale. And there you go. That's the official canon names uh, for these Persona protagonists. We have Makoto Yuki, we have Kotone Shiomi, we have Hero Protagonist, and then we have Joker Persona 5. And there you go. The secret's been revealed, the mystery has been solved, and these are the names for the Persona protagonists. It is official because I am Atlas itself. We all can end the debate now who has this name, who has that name, which one is the real name. Ah, uh, this is, this is the real names for them. Alright, that is all. See ya.